Hello everybody, today we're gonna ask the AI language model ChatGPT4 to write us a horror story and then I'm gonna read it out for you. So here we go. Part 1. The Silence. It was 1958 and Sarah Stevens had just turned 30. Her old life in the bustling city had grown tiresome. She decided to relocate to the quiet, secluded town of Elmswood. The quaint village sat isolated in a valley surrounded by dark woods as it had been severed from the rest of the world. She had heard rumors about the town's unsettling past, but she brushed them off as mere superstitions. Upon her arrival, Sarah was struck by the eerie silence that pervaded Elmswood. The streets were deserted and the houses seemed abandoned. The only signs of life were the occasional fluttering of curtains or a hushed whisper behind closed door. Sarah had expected to find solace in the solitude, but the town's peculiar atmosphere only intensified her unease. Her new home was a small, decrypt cottage, its windows boarded up and the overgrown garden shrouded in darkness. As she sat about cleaning the house, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. One night she awoke to the sound of footsteps outside her bedroom door, but when she gathered the courage to look, she found no one. Part 2. The Disappearance A month after her arrival, Sarah discovered that the townspeople met at a local church every Sunday. She decided to attend, hoping to befriend her new neighbors. However, the congregation's welcome was cold and distant. The townspeople seemed almost afraid to talk to her, their eyes darting nervously between her and the church's ancient stained glass windows. In the following weeks, Sarah noticed the townspeople acting strangely. They would gather in hushed groups, whispering and casting fruit-type glances at her as she passed. One evening, she saw a group of men digging in the woods, but when they noticed her watching, they quickly dispersed. That night, Sarah was awoken by the sound of heavy breathing outside her window. But again, she looked, there was nothing there. The next day, the village children vanished. Sarah searched the woods, the fields and the old abandoned mill, but she found no trace of them. The townspeople seemed unbothered by the disappearances, as if they had been expecting it. They refused to speak to Sarah, and even the church doors were locked to her. Part 3. The Ritual Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah returned to the woods where she had seen the men digging. She discovered a hidden cave, its ens entrance obscured by a tangle of thorny vines. Inside, she found the missing children, bound and unconscious, and a group of hooded figures engaged in a dark ritual. As she watched in horror, the figures drew a symbol on the ground with the children's blood, chanting in an ancient language. A strange force seemed to animate for this, from the symbol, its power growing with each incantation. Unable to bear the sight, Sarah rushed forward, desperate to save the children. As she did, the hooded figures turned toward her, revealing their twisted, monstrous faces. They were the villagers, their humanity lost to some unspeakable evil. They attacked her, their talons tearing at her flesh as they tried to drag her into the ritual. But with a burst of adrenaline, Sarah managed to break free and flee the cave. Part 4. The Awakening When she returned to Elmswood, Sarah found the town in ruins. The house had crumbled, the streets were overgrown and the church lay in a pile of rubble. The townspeople had vanished, and Sarah was left to wander the desolate village. Her heart heavy with loss and fear. As she gazed upon the wreckage, Sarah realized the truth. Elmswood had been trapped in a nightmare, a cursed cycle of darkness and despair. The ritual had been an attempt to break the curse, but it had only served to strengthen it. With each step, Sarah felt the weight of the town's suffering pressing down on her. The air was thick with the stench of decay and the whispered echoes of tortured souls. She knew she could not escape the malevolent force that had consumed Elmswood, but she refused to succumb to its darkness. Driven by an unyielding determination, Sarah began to study this town's history and the ancient rites that had sealed its fate. She searched the runes for clues, piecing together fragments of lore from dusty tomes and forgotten scrolls, Months turned into years as Sarah toiled in solitude, her mind and body ravaged by the relentless grip of the curse. Finally, after years of tiresome research, Sarah discovered the key to breaking the curse, 
a long forgotten ritual that could sever the town's connection to the darkness. Armed with this knowledge, he returned to the cave where the nightmare had begun. Part 5 The Reckoning as Sarah prepared the ritual, the shadows around her stirred with a malevolent intent. The dark force that had claimed Elswin sensed her defiance and sought to destroy her. But Sarah was undeterred, her spirit ignited by a burning resolve to restore the town and free its lost souls. She drew the intricate symbols on the cave floor, her hands steady despite the whispers that clawed at her sanity. As she completed the ritual, the darkness converged upon her, a tendril seeking to consume her, but Sarah stood firm and her voice rising in a powerful chant that echoed through the cavern. The ritual energy surged through her, a brilliant light that pierced the darkness and shattered its grip on Elmswood. As the shadows receded, the village began to reawaken, the ruins stirring with life and hope. The souls of the townspeople, once trapped, in a torment were released, their monstrous visages replaced with the faces of people Sarah had known. When the last vestiges of the curse were banished, Sarah collapsed, her body and mind spent. The townspeople gathered around her, their eyes filled with gratitude and wonder. They knew they owed their salvation to the woman who had braved the darkness and fought for their freedom. And so, the towns of Elmswood was reborn, its streets once again filled with laughter and light. The nightmare had been vanquished and the shadows had retreated to the depths from which they had come. But in the hearts of the townspeople, the memory of Sarah Stevens would endure, and beacon, a beacon of hope and courage in a world where darkness once reigned. There we go, dude. That was a pretty good story. Uh, yeah, there we go. Horror story by... The AI language model, chat GPT4. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.